with the exemption or exclusion of sustainability materials. People have high expectation. They think tomorrow the building price is going to come down immediately. Yesterday, at one function, I was asked by the press too, how many percent are the houses price going to come down? I said they expect things to just work out immediately. It is very difficult for us to come up with a figure because to construct a building, it is a long process and there are many players in it. Okay, the federal government has done their part by exempting certain construction materials like sand, bricks, cement and stuff. So people have high expectations. But the local government, certain authorities, they may bump up certain things like the contribution, the land prices, because they say, okay, it's our time to make uh, some money from certain other uh, uh, revenues, because they have to raise the revenues uh, every, every year. And um, the attitude of certain state government is that they see land as uh, a capital to make or do business, not as something to provide to the general public for basic provision as first-time house owners for the poor and the needy. So that is where the problems that we have to uh, face, that there are many players in this situation. Yeah? Uh, as rightly said, the local authorities, the local government, the state government, uh, those who are imposing all these development charges have to think on the same wavelength. That we want housing to be more affordable. If we don't approach this as a team, exemption from taxes for certain construction material may be neutralized by pumping up prices elsewhere because people may try to take that opportunity. So my advice is, as the first question was put to me by Captain Zuni just now, is that please keep on the pressure. Yeah? Come up with more innovative uh, proposal, innovative uh, ideas, and keep going to the authorities, to the government for changes in their approach, that things should be more flexible. Like, if the cost of the land are expensive, why not have dual usage? Like, I saw some proposal. Uh, proposal for units to be built above existing farmhouses or above uh, rail tracks or LRT track. Why not? If they're willing to be flexible, that's one big factor that we can solve by lowering land prices. So we have to be innovative. Everybody has to play their part and we feel architects could be a leader in this, but they have to be persistent and if I'm still around, I'll tell you, you know, housing policy is only going to be on view within the next few weeks, uh, maybe next month. Yeah? Uh, we are not at liberty to say anything at the moment because it's still uh, being worked on and we're still receiving uh, ideas and proposals as how to prevent the approach. So I can't say much now because uh, my minister will be upset with me if I speak too soon. I've only been on the job for three weeks. She's been there for three months. I started a bit late. So I'll be a bit patient, but I'm, I'm sure uh, there will be some innovative changes because uh, we can't go on like this. Right? We can't go on like this. We have to cross the gap. And one of the first things that we say must be resolved is what's so difficult about centralizing all the database for land? Uh, and land and ownership of units. Because there may be enough units for affordable housing and low cost housing. But if the distribution of these units do not go to the deserving one and keep going back to those political connectors, we'll be forever not able to be on challenge. So basically, sir, they got this. I think it's going to be one of the things that we're going to push through and make sure everybody knows who's going to what and why are they getting it and why are they undeserving still getting it and the deserving is still getting it. So I think uh, we wait a bit more. Uh, perhaps yeah, we can have it by next month.